Sodium hydroxide, also known as lye and caustic soda, is an inorganic compound with the formula NaOH. It is a white solid ionic compound consisting of sodium cations Na plus and hydroxide anions O minus. Sodium hydroxide is a highly caustic base and alkali that decomposes proteins at ordinary ambient temperatures and may cause severe chemical burns. It is highly soluble in water, and readily absorbs moisture and carbon dioxide from the air. It forms a series of hydrates NaOH and H2O. The monohydrate NaOH H2O crystallizes from water solutions between 12.3 and 61.8 degrees Celsius. The commercially available sodium hydroxide is often this monohydrate, and published data may refer to it instead of the anhydrous compound. As one of the simplest hydroxides, it is frequently utilized alongside neutral water and acidic hydrochloric acid to demonstrate the pH scale to chemistry students. Sodium hydroxide is used in many industries, in the manufacture of pulp and paper, textiles, drinking water, soaps and detergents, and as a drain cleaner. Worldwide production in 2004 was approximately 60 million tons, while demand was 51 million tons. Properties Physical properties Pure sodium hydroxide is a colorless crystalline solid that melts at 318 degrees Celsius without decomposition. It is highly soluble in water, with a lower solubility in polar solvents such as ethanol and methanol. NaOH is insoluble in ether and other nonpolar solvents. Similar to the hydration of sulfuric acid, dissolution of solid sodium hydroxide in water is a highly exothermic reaction where a large amount of heat is liberated, posing a threat to safety through the possibility of splashing. The resulting solution is usually colorless and odorless. As with other alkaline solutions, it feels slippery with skin contact due to the process of saponification that occurs between NaOH and natural skin oils. Hydrates. Sodium hydroxide can form several hydrates NaOH and H2O, which result in a complex solubility diagram that was described in detail by S. U. Pickering in 1893. The known hydrates and the approximate ranges of temperature and concentration mass percent of, NaOH of their saturated water solutions are Heptahydrate, NaOH 7H2O, from minus 28 degrees Celsius 18.8% to minus 24 degrees Celsius 22.2%. Pentahydrate, NaOH 5H2O, from minus 24 degrees Celsius 22.2% to minus 177 24.8%. Tetrahydrate, NaOH 4H2O, alpha form, from minus 17.7, 24.8%, to plus 5.4 degrees Celsius, 32.5%. Tetrahydrate, NaOH 4H2O, beta form, metastable. NaOH 3.5 H2O, from plus 5.4 degrees Celsius 32.5%, to plus 15.38 degrees Celsius 38.8%, and then to plus 5.0 degrees Celsius 45.7%. Trihydrate, NaOH 3 H2O, metastable. Dihydrate, NaOH 2 H2O, from plus 5.0 degrees Celsius, 45.7%, to plus 12.3 degrees Celsius, 51%. Monohydrate, NaOH H2O, from plus 12.3 degrees Celsius, 51%, to 65.10 degrees Celsius, 69%, then to 62.63 degrees Celsius, 73.1%. Early reports refer to hydrates with N. 0.5 or N. Two-thirds, but later careful investigations failed to confirm their existence. The only hydrates with stable melting points are NaOH H2O 65.10 degrees Celsius and NaOH 3.5 H2O 15.38 degrees Celsius. The other hydrates, except the metastable ones NaOH 3H2O and NaOH 4H2O beta, can be crystallized from solutions of the proper composition, as listed above. 
However, solutions of NaOH can be easily supercooled by many degrees, which allows the formation of hydrates including the metastable ones from solutions with different concentrations, for example, when a solution of NaOH in water with 1 to 2 mole ratio 52.6% NaOH by mass is cooled, the monohydrate normally starts to crystallize at about 22 degrees Celsius before the dihydrate. However, the solution can easily be supercooled down to minus 15 degrees Celsius, at which point it may quickly crystallize as the dihydrate. When heated, the solid dihydrate might melt directly into a solution at 13.35 degrees Celsius, however, once the temperature exceeds 12.58 degrees Celsius. It often decomposes into solid monohydrate in a liquid solution. Even the N equals 3.5 hydrate is difficult to crystallize, because the solution supercools so much that other hydrates become more stable. A hot water solution containing 73.1% mass of NaOH is an eutectic that solidifies at about 62.63 degrees Celsius as an intimate mix of anhydrous and monohydrate crystals. A second stable eutectic composition is 45.4% mass of NaOH, that solidifies at about 4.9 degrees Celsius into a mixture of crystals of the dihydrate and of the 3.5 hydrate. The third stable eutectic has 18.4% mass of NaOH. It solidifies at about minus 28.7 degrees Celsius as a mixture of water ice and the heptahydrate NaOH7H2O. When solutions with less than 18.4% NaOH are cooled, water ice crystallizes first, leaving the NaOH in solution. The alpha form of the tetrahydrate has density 1.33 grams per cc. It melts congruously at 7.55 degrees Celsius into a liquid with 35.7% NaOH and density 1.392 grams per cc, and therefore floats on it like ice on water. However, at about 4.9 degrees Celsius it may instead melt incongruously into a mixture of solid NaOH 3.5 H2O and a liquid solution. The beta form of the tetrahydrate is metastable, and often transforms spontaneously to the alpha form when cooled below minus 20 degrees Celsius. Once initiated, the exothermic transformation is complete in a few minutes, with a 6.5% increase in volume of the solid. The beta form can be crystallized from supercooled solutions at minus 26 degrees Celsius, and melts partially at minus 1.83 degrees Celsius. The sodium hydroxide of commerce is often the monohydrate, density 1.829 grams per cc. Physical data in technical literature may refer to this form, rather than the anhydrous compound. Crystal structure the monohydrate crystallizes in the space group PBCA, with cell dimensions of 1.1825 b 0.6213, c equals 0.6069 nanometers. The atoms are arranged in a hydrargillite like layer structure, O na O O na O. Each sodium atom is surrounded by six oxygen atoms, three each from hydroxyl anions HO- and three from water molecules. The hydrogen atoms of the hydroxyls form strong bonds with oxygen atoms within each O layer. Adjacent O layers are held together by hydrogen bonds between water molecules. Chemical properties Reaction with acids Sodium hydroxide reacts with protic acids to produce water and the corresponding salts. For example, when sodium hydroxide reacts with hydrochloric acid, sodium chloride is formed NaOH Aq plus HCl Aq sodium chloride Aq plus H2O L. In general, such neutralization reactions are represented by one simple net ionic equation. O minus AQ plus H plus AQ H2O L. This type of reaction with a strong acid releases heat, and hence is exothermic. Such acid-base reactions can also be used for titrations. However, sodium hydroxide is not used as a primary standard because it is hygroscopic and absorbs carbon dioxide from air. Reaction with acidic oxides Sodium hydroxide also reacts with acidic oxides, such as sulfur dioxide. Such reactions are often used to scrub 
Harmful acidic gases like SO2 and H2S produced in the burning of coal and thus prevent their release into the atmosphere. For example, 2NaOH plus SO2 sodium sulfite plus H2O. Reaction with amphoteric metals and oxides. Glass reacts slowly with aqueous sodium hydroxide solutions at ambient temperatures to form soluble silicates. Because of this, glass joints and stopcocks exposed to sodium hydroxide have a tendency to freeze. Flasks and glass-lined chemical reactors are damaged by long exposure to hot sodium hydroxide, which also frosts the glass. Sodium hydroxide does not attack iron at room temperatures, since iron does not have amphoteric properties i.e., it only dissolves in acid, not base. Nevertheless at high temperatures e.g. above 500 degrees Celsius, iron can react endothermically with sodium hydroxide to form iron, 3, oxide, sodium metal, and hydrogen gas. This is due to the lower enthalpy of formation of iron, 3, oxide, minus 824.2 kJ per mole, compared to sodium hydroxide, minus 427 kJ per mole, thus the reaction is thermodynamically favorable, although its endothermic nature indicates non-spontaneity. Consider the following reaction between molten sodium hydroxide and finely divided iron filings, 4Fe plus 6NaOH 2 iron 3 oxide plus 6 Na plus 3H 2 a few transition metals, however, may react vigorously with sodium hydroxide. In 1986, an aluminium road tanker in the UK was mistakenly used to transport 25% sodium hydroxide solution, causing pressurization of the contents and damage to the tanker. The pressurization was due to the hydrogen gas which is produced in the reaction between sodium hydroxide and aluminium. 2Al plus 2NaOH plus 6H2O2 Nol, O, 4 plus 3H2. Precipitant Unlike sodium hydroxide, the hydroxides of most transition metals are insoluble, and therefore sodium hydroxide can be used to precipitate transition metal hydroxides. The following colors are observed, blue copper, green iron, 2, yellow, brown iron, 3. Zinc and lead salts dissolve in excess sodium hydroxide to give a clear solution of Na2-zinc oxide or Na2-lead-4 oxide. Aluminium hydroxide is used as a gelatinous flocculant to filter out particulate matter in water treatment. Aluminium hydroxide is prepared at the treatment plant from aluminium sulfate by reacting it with sodium hydroxide or bicarbonate. Aluminium sulfate plus 6 NaOH2 Aluminium hydroxide plus 3 sodium sulfate Aluminium sulfate plus 6 sodium hydrogen carbonate 2 Aluminium hydroxide plus 3 sodium sulfate plus 6 CO2 Saponification Sodium hydroxide can be used for the base-driven hydrolysis of esters, as in saponification, amides and alkyl halides. However, the limited solubility of sodium hydroxide in organic solvents means that the more soluble potassium hydroxide Co, is often preferred. Touching sodium hydroxide solution with the bare hands, while not recommended, produces a slippery feeling. This happens because oils on the skin such as sebum are converted to soap. Despite solubility in propylene glycol it is unlikely to replace water in saponification due to propylene glycol primary reaction with fat before reaction between sodium hydroxide and fat. Production Sodium hydroxide is industrially produced as a 50% solution by variations of the electrolytic chloralkali process. Chlorine gas is also produced in this process. Solid sodium hydroxide is obtained from this solution by the evaporation of water. Solid sodium hydroxide is most commonly sold as flakes, prills, and cast blocks. In 2004, world production was estimated at 60 million dry metric tons of sodium hydroxide, and demand was estimated at 51 million tons. In 1998, total world production was around 45 million tons. North America and Asia each contributed around 14 million tons, while Europe produced around 10 million tons. 
In the United States, the major producer of sodium hydroxide is the Dow Chemical Company, which has annual production around 3.7 million tons from sites at Freeport, Texas, and Plaquemine, Louisiana. Other major U.S. producers include Oxychem, PPG, Olin, Pioneer Companies, Inc. Piona, which was purchased by Olin, and Formosa. All of these companies use the chloral Kali process. Historically, sodium hydroxide was produced by treating sodium carbonate with calcium hydroxide in a metathesis reaction. Sodium hydroxide is soluble while calcium carbonate is not. This process was called causticizing. Calcium hydroxide AQ plus sodium carbonate S calcium carbonate plus 2NaOH AQ. This process was superseded by the Solvay process in the late 19th century, which was in turn supplanted by the chloral Kali process which we use today. Sodium hydroxide is also produced by combining pure sodium metal with water. The byproducts are hydrogen gas and heat, often resulting in a flame, making this a common demonstration of the reactivity of alkali metals in academic environments. However, it is not commercially viable, as the isolation of sodium metal is typically performed by reduction or electrolysis of sodium compounds including sodium hydroxide. For further information in historical production, see alkali manufacture. Uses Sodium hydroxide is a popular strong base used in industry. Around 56% of sodium hydroxide produced is used by industry, 25% of which is used in the paper industry. Sodium hydroxide is also used in the manufacture of sodium salts and detergents, pH regulation, and organic synthesis. It is used in the bare process of aluminium production. In bulk, it is most often handled as an aqueous solution, since solutions are cheaper and easier to handle. Sodium hydroxide is used in many scenarios where it is desirable to increase the alkalinity of a mixture, or to neutralize acids. For example, in the petroleum industry, sodium hydroxide is used as an additive in drilling mud to increase alkalinity in bentonite mud systems, to increase the mud viscosity, and to neutralize any acid gas, such as hydrogen sulfide and carbon dioxide, which may be encountered in the geological formation as drilling progresses. Poor quality crude oil can be treated with sodium hydroxide to remove sulfurous impurities in a process known as caustic washing. As above, sodium hydroxide reacts with weak acids such as hydrogen sulfide and mercaptans to yield non-volatile sodium salts, which can be removed. The waste which is formed is toxic and difficult to deal with, and the process is banned in many countries because of this. In 2006, Trafagora used the process and then dumped the waste in Africa. Chemical pulping Sodium hydroxide is also widely used in pulping of wood for making paper or regenerated fibers. Along with sodium sulfide, sodium hydroxide is a key component of the white liquor solution used to separate lignin from cellulose fibers in the craft process. It also plays a key role in several later stages of the process of bleaching the brown pulp resulting from the pulping process. These stages include oxygen delignification, oxidative extraction, and simple extraction, all of which require a strong alkaline environment with a pH greater than 10.5 at the end of the stages. Tissue digestion In a similar fashion, sodium hydroxide is used to digest tissues, as in a process that was used with farm animals at one time. This process involved placing a carcass into a sealed chamber, then adding a mixture of sodium hydroxide and water, which breaks the chemical bonds that keep the flesh intact. This eventually turns the body into a liquid with coffee-like appearance, and the only solid that remains are bone hulls, which could be crushed between one's fingertips. Sodium hydroxide is frequently used in the process of decomposing roadkill dumped in landfills by animal disposal contractors. Due to its low cost and availability, it has been used to dispose of corpses by criminals. Italian serial killer Leonardo Cianciulli used this chemical to turn dead bodies into soap. In Mexico, a man who worked for drug cartels admitted disposing of over 300 bodies with it. Sodium hydroxide is a dangerous chemical due to its ability to hydrolyze protein. If a dilute solution is spilled on the skin, burns may result if the area is not washed thoroughly and for several minutes with running water. 
Splashes in the eye can be more serious and can lead to blindness. Dissolving amphoteric metals and compounds Strong bases attack aluminium. Sodium hydroxide reacts with aluminium and water to release hydrogen gas. The aluminium takes the oxygen atom from sodium hydroxide, which in turn takes the oxygen atom from the water, and releases the two hydrogen atoms, the reaction thus produces hydrogen gas and sodium aluminate. In this reaction, sodium hydroxide acts as an agent to make the solution alkaline, which aluminium can dissolve in. This reaction can be useful in etching, removing anodizing, or converting a polished surface to a satin-like finish, but without further passivation such as anodizing or elodining the surface may become degraded, either under normal use or in severe atmospheric conditions. In the Baer process, sodium hydroxide is used in the refining of alumina containing ores, bauxite, to produce alumina, aluminium oxide, which is the raw material used to produce aluminium metal via the electrolytic Hall arrow process. Since the alumina is amphoteric, it dissolves in the sodium hydroxide, leaving impurities less soluble at high pH such as iron oxides behind in the form of a highly alkaline red mud. Other amphoteric metals are zinc and lead which dissolve in concentrated sodium hydroxide solutions to give sodium zincate and sodium plumbate respectively. Esterification and transesterification reagent Sodium hydroxide is traditionally used in soap making, cold process soap, saponification. It was made in the 19th century for a hard surface rather than liquid product because it was easier to store and transport. For the manufacture of biodiesel, sodium hydroxide is used as a catalyst for the transesterification of methanol and triglycerides. This only works with anhydrous sodium hydroxide, because combined with water the fat would turn into soap, which would be tainted with methanol. NaOH is used more often than potassium hydroxide because it is cheaper and a smaller quantity is needed. Food preparation Food uses of sodium hydroxide include washing or chemical peeling of fruits and vegetables, chocolate and cocoa processing, caramel coloring production, poultry scalding, soft drink processing, and thickening ice cream. Olives are often soaked in sodium hydroxide for softening. Pretzels and German lye rolls are glazed with a sodium hydroxide solution before baking to make them crisp. Owing to the difficulty in obtaining food grade sodium hydroxide in small quantities for home use, sodium carbonate is often used in place of sodium hydroxide. Specific foods processed with sodium hydroxide include. German pretzels are poached in a boiling sodium carbonate solution or cold sodium hydroxide solution before baking, which contributes to their unique crust. Lye water is an essential ingredient in the crust of the traditional baked Chinese moon cakes. Most yellow-colored Chinese noodles are made with lye water but are commonly mistaken for containing egg. Sodium hydroxide is also the chemical that causes gelling of egg whites in the production of century eggs. Some methods of preparing olives involve subjecting them to a lye-based brine. The Filipino dessert, kakanan, called kutsanta uses a small quantity of lye water to help give the rice flour batter a jelly-like consistency. A similar process is also used in the kakanan known as pitsi pitsi or pichi pichi except that the mixture uses grated cassava instead of rice flour. The Norwegian dish known as lutfisk from lutfisk. Lye fish. Bagels are often boiled in a lye solution before baking, contributing to their shiny crust. Hominy is dried maize, corn kernels reconstituted by soaking in lye water. These expand considerably in size and may be further processed by frying to make corn nuts or by drying and grinding to make grits. Hominy is used to create masa, a popular flour used in Mexican cuisine to make corn tortillas and tamales. Nixtamal is similar, but uses calcium hydroxide instead of sodium hydroxide. Cleaning agent Sodium hydroxide is frequently used as an industrial cleaning agent where it is often called caustic. It is added to water, heated, and then used to clean process equipment, storage tanks, etc. 
It can dissolve grease, oils, fats and protein-based deposits. It is also used for cleaning waste discharge pipes under sinks and drains in domestic properties. Surfactants can be added to the sodium hydroxide solution in order to stabilize dissolved substances and thus prevent redeposition. A sodium hydroxide soak solution is used as a powerful degreaser on stainless steel and glass bakeware. It is also a common ingredient in oven cleaners. A common use of sodium hydroxide is in the production of parts washer detergents. Parts washer detergents based on sodium hydroxide are some of the most aggressive parts washer cleaning chemicals. The sodium hydroxide based detergents include surfactants, rust inhibitors and defoamers. A parts washer heats water and the detergent in a closed cabinet and then sprays the heated sodium hydroxide and hot water at pressure against dirty parts for degreasing applications. Sodium hydroxide used in this manner replaced many solvent-based systems in the early 1990s when trichloroethane was outlawed by the Montreal Protocol. Water and sodium hydroxide detergent-based parts washers are considered to be an environmental improvement over the solvent-based cleaning methods. Sodium hydroxide is used in the home as a type of drain opener to unblock clogged drains, usually in the form of a dry crystal or as a thick liquid gel. The alkali dissolves greases to produce water-soluble products. It also hydrolyzes the proteins such as those found in hair which may block water pipes. These reactions are sped by the heat generated when sodium hydroxide and the other chemical components of the cleaner dissolve in water. Such alkaline drain cleaners and their acidic versions are highly corrosive and should be handled with great caution. Sodium hydroxide is used in some relaxers to straighten hair. However, because of the high incidence and intensity of chemical burns, manufacturers of chemical relaxers use other alkaline chemicals in preparations available to average consumers. Sodium hydroxide relaxers are still available, but they are used mostly by professionals. A solution of sodium hydroxide in water was traditionally used as the most common paint stripper on wooden objects. Its use has become less common, because it can damage the wood surface, raising the grain and staining the color. Water treatment Sodium hydroxide is sometimes used during water purification to raise the pH of water supplies. Increased pH makes the water less corrosive to plumbing and reduces the amount of lead, copper and other toxic metals that can dissolve into drinking water. Historical uses Sodium hydroxide has been used for detection of carbon monoxide poisoning, with blood samples of such patients turning to a vermilion color upon the addition of a few drops of sodium hydroxide. Today, carbon monoxide poisoning can be detected by CO oximetry. In cement mixes, mortars, concrete, grouts Sodium hydroxide is used in some cement mix plasticizers. This helps homogenize cement mixes, preventing segregation of sands and cement, decreases the amount of water required in a mix and increases workability of the cement product, be it mortar, render or concrete. Experimental Flavonoids C. Sodium hydroxide test for flavonoids Summer-winter heat storage AMPA researchers are experimenting with concentrated sodium hydroxide NaOH, as the thermal storage or seasonal reservoir medium for domestic space heating. If water is added to solid or concentrated sodium hydroxide NaOH, heat is released. The dilution is exothermic, chemical energy is released in the form of heat. Conversely, by applying heat energy into a dilute sodium hydroxide solution the water will evaporate so that the solution become more concentrated and thus store the supplied heat as latent chemical energy. Safety Like other corrosive acids and alkalis, drops of sodium hydroxide solutions can readily decompose proteins and lipids in living tissues via amide hydrolysis and ester hydrolysis, which consequently cause chemical burns and may induce permanent blindness upon contact with eyes. Solid alkali can also express its corrosive nature if there is water, such as water vapor. 
Thus, protective equipment, like rubber gloves, safety clothing and eye protection, should always be used when handling this chemical or its solutions. The standard first aid measures for alkali spills on the skin is, as for other corrosives, irrigation with large quantities of water. Washing is continued for at least 10 to 15 minutes. Lithium battery cells, if ingested, cause serious injuries, even if not crushed. The damage is caused, not by the contents of the battery, but by the electric current it creates, which causes sodium hydroxide to build up and burn through the esophagus and into major blood vessels, which can cause fatal bleeding. Moreover, dissolution of sodium hydroxide is highly exothermic, and the resulting heat may cause heat burns or ignite flammables. It also produces heat when reacted with acids. Sodium hydroxide is corrosive to several metals, like aluminium which reacts with the alkali to produce flammable hydrogen gas on contact. 2Al plus 6NaOH3H2 plus 2Na, 3 aluminium oxide. 2Al plus 2NaOH plus 2H2O3H2 plus 2 sodium aluminate. 2Al plus 2NaOH plus 6H2O3H2 plus 2 Nol O4 sodium hydroxide is also mildly corrosive to glass, which can cause damage to glazing or cause ground glass joints to bind. Careful storage is needed. History Sodium hydroxide was first prepared by soap makers. A procedure for making sodium hydroxide appeared as part of a recipe for making soap in an Arab book of the late 13th century, al muqtara backquote fi funan min al suna backquote Inventions from the Various Industrial Arts, which was compiled by al Muzaffar Yusuf ibn backquote Umar ibn backquote Ali ibn Rasul, d. 1295, a king of Yemen. The recipe called for passing water repeatedly through a mixture of alkali, Arabic, al kili, where kili is ash from saltwort plants, which are rich in sodium. Sodium, hence alkali was impure sodium carbonate, and quicklime calcium oxide, sal, whereby a solution of sodium hydroxide was obtained. European soap makers also followed this recipe. When in 1791 the French chemist and surgeon Nicolas Leblanc (1742–1806) patented a process for mass-producing sodium carbonate, natural soda ash. Impure sodium carbonate that was obtained from the ashes of plants that are rich in sodium was replaced by this artificial version. However, by the 20th century, the electrolysis of sodium chloride had become the primary method for producing sodium hydroxide. See also Hazmat class 8 corrosive substances Common chemicals List of cleaning agents Acid and base References Bibliography Eurochlor How is chlorine made? Chlorine Online Greenwood, Norman N., Earnshaw, Allen 1997. Chemistry of the Elements, 2nd ed. Butterworth Heinemann, ISBN 0-08-037941-9. Heaton, A. An Introduction to Industrial Chemistry, 3rd edition, New York, Blackie. ISBN 0-7514-0272-9. External links International Chemical Safety Card 0360 NIOSH Pocket Guide to Chemical Hazards CDC, Sodium Hydroxide, NIOSH Workplace Safety and Health Topic European Union Risk Assessment Report Production by Brine Electrolysis Data Sheets Sodium Hydroxide Safety Data Sheet SDS. Sodium Hydroxide MSDS Certified Lye MSDS Hill Brothers MSDS Sodium Hydroxide Safety Summary BASF. Titration of Acids with Sodium Hydroxide, Freeware for Data Analysis, Simulation of Curves and pH Calculation 
Caustic soda production in continuous causticizing plant by lime soda process.